So hi guys, how's everyone doing? I am Shayla, it's nice to meet you. If you're new, then please go ahead and click a button that is red with white and it says subscribe. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter. I'll start using Twitter more, I promise. Today, I want to start off the video by saying that it's November, which means that it's kind of coldish. My favorite season. <laughs> I can wear my favorite clothes. So today we're gonna talk about things you need to know before going to a concert. Mm -hmm. I just love concerts because I think they bring people together. You can look around and see a bunch of different people, a bunch of different ages, a bunch of different ethnicities, all listening and singing along to the same song at the same time, You're feeling the same and that we all look that it's just crazy how we're all so different but at the end of the day we're in a concert singing the same song so number one at least always try to learn five songs from the band or the artists that you're gonna go see because i've been to concerts that the people go to the concert and they just know one or two songs that are mo mainly the songs that are played on the radio and then they just leave literally they just leave just like that i understand if it's like the last song you don't want to be on the crowd going out in the traffic because getting out of a parking after a concert sucks i went to lana del rey and it was i took me two hours to get out of the parking lot and it, i was in the third line but i was like all the way further on the back so i understand if you want to get out early but if it is like the third song they're playing and you're just gonna like leave I don't know, I would recommend that you stay a little bit longer Try to listen to like the album before going to the concert at least like a week before And Cause it sucks for the artist, honestly, it makes me mad Um, it makes me more sad People are just standing like <laughs> At concerts, like yo you came to a concert, try to have some fun. Not everyone has fun just dancing or moving or singing. Sometimes people just want to relax and see the concert. I completely understand that and I get your point. But at least you can sing a few songs or at least you can try to learn one song apart from the one that they have on the radio. So number two, go ahead and buy the album. You listen on the radio and you like them, but there's so many underrated songs of so many artists, but just because they're not on the radio, they don't become hits and it sucks. Number three, so don't be ashamed of singing your heart out. Literally, you can just dance and sing if you want. It doesn't even matter. No one cares. And the artists, actually, they actually like to see you have fun. Don't go crazy and start hitting people around you unless you're like in a smosh pit or something. Then that, I guess, is acceptable and it's fine. Uh, yes, I've been in one before and it's not fun. Not because I wanted to, I got trapped. It was not fun. But, I mean, I have the experience now. <laughs> so number four, dress comfy. I know that sometimes we want to impress the singer, you know, or the, the guitar guy or the drum guy, you know, anyone who is in the band and we just want to look hella cute. Why am I wearing this? Why am I wearing that? Like, just go comfy, but looking hella cute too. And you know you're going to be standing when you're in a concert and you're in general admission. And even if you're not in general, you have seating. Everyone just stands for, I don't know why. You know, the seatings are made even to be like down. Everyone that's sitting further away will see better. But then people stand up. Hey, I can't see anything. People are like, well, whatever. I'm like... For you guys that don't know, I'm short, so I mean, I struggle a lot. So number five, if you are short like me, I recommend that you bring two pairs of shoes. That you bring shoes that you're gonna be making line with and shoes that you, if, like if people stand up and they don't let you see, you can put on like your shoes. I usually use wedges because it's not as terrible is using a classic high heel i just use wedges and i'm able i just change them in the concert even if they don't match my outfit whatever nobody's looking at my feet i think and you just are able to see honestly i'm short so it sucks that like you're early and everything but they push you and you end up being like further away and then people go in front of you and you don't see anything else and you're like no i wanted to see i am not complaining about it i love being short so number six call ahead the venue before the concert and ask them their policies. You might ask, why do I want to know their policies, Shayla? Like, but honestly, it's so helpful. You can call them and ask, hey, are we able to bring our own food inside? Or hey, 
Can I bring at least water if it's closed and I haven't opened it? Or hey, can I bring my camera? Some places that you're not able to bring Polaroids because you cannot cover the flash or you cannot bring your big SLR cameras or some places do allow you or that they don't let you go out of the venue and come back so they don't stamp you or anything if once you're out you're out and you cannot come back in i was in a concert uh it was marina and the diamonds and this girl brought her polaroid and then once they're checking us to go in they're like you cannot bring your camera to her and she was like what she couldn't go to the car and leave it because she was gonna lose her spot because of course it was general admission i don't know what happened at the end i think she did end up leaving her camera like in a corner or something with like the security guys but honestly i don't know i don't trust it when it's things like that i just don't trust leaving them just like just like that to anyone you know so number seven think about parking before going to the concert so see if you want to park near the venue or in the venue or a little bit further away. When it's like a big, huge concert, I recommend that you don't park in the venue. You can park a little bit far away and walk. I don't have to be on the traffic and all that. And when I do park on the venue, I usually go super early so that I can find a good spot near the, the exit. And I don't have to deal with all of the super... Uh, amazing parking time that you spend normally between one or two hours so number eight is actually my favorite one bring a gift for the artist I like bringing Mexican candy you can bring them like a cool thing that you made I just think it's cool that you should bring something to the artist number nine eat super well before the concert but not like one hour before the concert because you start getting nervous that they're gonna come out and you and I just don't want you to throw up or anything I just want you to be healthy and hydrated. Number 10, do not be afraid of talking to the people on your side. You never know when you can make like a concert buddy. You know, you have to like talk to the people on your sides. <laughs> Number 11, record all of your memories. Film your favorite part, film with your friends. If the artist tells you like, hey, okay, so everyone put your phone away and do it, go ahead. Nothing is gonna happen if you put your phone away and listen. <laughs> Number 12. Music festivals are the best, honestly. You pay like such a good price to see, I don't know, sometimes 10 artists, sometimes even 50 artists like Coachella. So if you're able to go to a festival, go ahead because I think they're the most fun. They're the best concerts I've been to. So number 13 is a very popular one. Bring two extra chargers portable chargers don't bring one bring two you never know when you're gonna get lost in downtown like i did and my phone was in 20 percent number 14 you have to not care if they push you because they will especially if it's like a big venue and the general admission area is huge you're just going to be mean you have to be strong and prepared to be as strong as you can like that's why you have to make friends uh because usually the people that you're making line with for the concert are the people that are going to be in the same area as you're going to be standing you all form like this pack i know it sounds so funny but it's true you form like a pack and you're like okay so i protect you from the corner you protect from them okay we're good i get to concerts very early because i'm sure and i want to see alternative rock festival or something people tend to go crazy on that i was in a concert of the offspring and people just went crazy with the smosh pit i just remember that i felt someone pulling my hair and i was like okay whatever i just did like a pointy tail and just to hold on to like the gate because i was all the way on the front and they pushed me and everything but i was not moving from my spot because there were people trying to move me but i was like yo i'm not moving it's part of concert it's gonna happen <laughs> Number 15, not because you were the first in line outside before entering the venue, doesn't mean you're gonna be the first in line at the concert. When they open the doors, people just ran like crazy. So the person that was like way behind you ran fast, they're gonna go into the, all the way on the front. So as soon as they put your like, okay, you're good to go, have to run and save your spot. So number 16, secure your important things like your money and your card. I have my jacket that I use at concerts that it has like inner pockets, zippers. Number 17, have fun.
So number 18, I've said it before, I like to be early at concerts. The artists sometimes come outside to see like who is in line and they take pictures with you and say hi. Snapchat with you. Hi Grace. What's up X-Fest? Oh my god. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hello oh, YouTube. Is this going on CNN? Uh, probably. Oh uh, yeah, totally. And CNN news. and all the new stuff. You know, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope these things are useful to you. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. I want to make a video, but I need you guys. So I need you guys to go follow me on Twitter. This is my Twitter. I'll put it right here. I will put a question or a sentence and I'll put two options and you have to choose the one that you think it is. I don't want to give it all away. Go ahead and follow me so that uh, because I need, I need you guys to answer. I will see you guys.